of live radar, your three-minute advantage, so you'll know first. This is WVTM 13 Live Doppler. Losing a little bit of light as the sun begins to set in the western sky, but you can clearly see the circulation still ongoing with what is now Tropical Depression Florence spinning away over the Carolinas. In fact, Florence now just close enough that northeast Alabama seeing some of the clouds on the very far western edge of that circulation. We're not seeing the rain though. That's well off to our east through portions of south and especially North Carolina. That heavy rain continues to spiral in a lot of tropical moisture coming in off the Atlantic Ocean. Those rainfall totals topping two feet in several locations. Now, where does Florence go from here? Latest track from our forecast models show a northward motion over the next 24 hours, and then finally getting picked up by the westerlies and racing out to sea. So some rain heading toward New England over the next several days, all associated with that remnant circulation of tropical depression Florence. Now we were talking about Isaac a few days ago. Isaac now the remnants of Isaac moving through the central Caribbean Sea. In fact, very close to Jamaica. It's a disorganized area of showers and thunderstorms. The National Hurricane Center gives this a low chance of redevelopment, only a 20% chance over the coming days. So a little piece of good news there in the tropics. The WVTM 13 live Doppler tracking mainly quiet conditions across the state for today. One lone shower moving through portions of Lake Gunnersville right now. These will try to drift down to the south into Blount County over the next hour or so. But the story today, it's been these low topped clouds struggling to build vertically. And that's why we've seen the dry conditions out there yet again. Very hot, especially by mid September standards, 92 degrees. The temperature in Birmingham, even hotter as you travel farther west, 94 in Tuscaloosa, some upper 80s with that extra cloud cover through portions of East Alabama. Factor in the humidity, it feels more like 100 and one degrees in Tuscaloosa. Our forecast model showing a couple of those isolated showers in northeast Alabama through the evening hours. Then overnight tonight, we're all clear. We look mostly dry heading into Monday as well. Much of next week, especially the first half of the week, dry, sunny and hot. High temperatures climbing easily into the 90s. We'll start to see those rain chances slowly build up as we head toward next weekend. Grace.